Going on break. You need anything? Uh, all the inventory get priced? Everything came off pod? Not leaving for the day, just going on break. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm looking to sell a book. Sell a book? What kind of book is it? Uh, it's an annual registry of 1776. The Declaration of Independence is printed in it. Wow. I brought an annual registry of 1776, which contains a copy of the Declaration of Independence. I'm looking to sell my book today to uh, take my lady out here in Las Vegas, get her drunk, and maybe she'll marry me. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my grandfather's. OK. And uh, we recased it to stabilize the book so pages wouldn't fall out. Generally, you don't restore old books, just so you know. Unless it's like absolutely necessary. It was absolutely necessary. <laughs> Looking through it, it's most likely pro English. It would probably be a really interesting read, everything they have to say about those damn colonists you know, trying to rebel yeah, from the king. Yeah. All right, here we go. The Articles of the Confederation. Well, what's all that about? How old are you? I'm 30. Oh. It's the Articles of the Confederation, it's the first constitution of the United States. Oh, okay. All right, what'd you want to do with it? Uh, I was looking to sell it. How much were you looking to get out of it? Um, two grand. Um, I'm intrigued, I'm deeply intrigued, because something printed from 1776, it has things like the Declaration of Independence in it. Could be some serious money. Son, do me a favor. What's Before that? you leave, What's you that? call Rebecca. All right, bye. Love you too. Uh-huh. Rebecca knows everything there is to know about books. Okay. Once you look around for a little bit, we'll wait on Rebecca and uh Cool, sounds good. That's it. Really cool. One bad thing is though, he did rebind it. It is I... definitely a rebind and definitely a recent, recent rebind. Uh, but it will affect the value of the book, just so everyone knows. Okay. Um, that, that, that's your opinion. Oh, no, that no, it's not her opinion. opinion. She knows. You know, you come to me for an appraisal, I'm going to give you my opinion. Okay. So that's what you're going to get. So you've got the annual register. This is actually a pretty important publication at the time. It was edited by Edmund Burke, who was a member of parliament. He was famous, incidentally, for supporting the American colonists in the revolution. OK. For example, he gave a very famous speech supporting the repeal of the tea tax. You know the tea tax that led to the Boston Tea Party? So. That's where the history books read it. I know the real story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, well, I'm not going to get into that with you. But um, one thing that's cool about this, too, there are descriptions of battles in here, including the major, major defeat of Washington in New York. And it was a huge loss for Washington. They had to retreat over the Delaware, very famous. And it was a pretty good example for the English. They're reading about this saying, of course, the American colonists don't stand a chance. The annual register was the perfect publication for any kind of gentleman or any educated man who wanted to know what was happening in the world. Not only history, but politics. Anything that people were talking about was put in this magazine. So what do we have here? This is really a landmark here, period. I mean, not only do you have the description of the battles, but you have the Declaration of Independence. You have the Articles of Confederation. It's okay. kind of like All right. banger year. But that doesn't necessarily equate to value. You're right. This one, you have issues. I mean, there's a tape repair here. And I really mean literally tape, which not good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, you've got the rebind. So with all of that in mind, I would value it at about 3000 3000 That much? Yeah, I would. OK. All right, you're the best. Yeah, happy to help. Thank you. Take care. Awesome. If Rick decides to go forward with this, I don't think he'll have a hard time finding a buyer. Americana is a huge area in collecting. Everyone loves it. Well, what's the plan, Stan? I mean, what's your absolutely best price on it? Well, let's start at the two grand, and I will not be bartered with. <laughs> <laughs> um. Make some money off of that still. I know, but would you ever pull $3,000 out of your pocket for a book? For like a first edition Nintendo Power? Yes. 
I don't even know what that is. Uh, let me give you 1500 bucks. Let's go 16. We got a deal. All right. All right, I'll go 1600 bucks. Awesome. Um, I will meet you right up front. Cool. Sounds good. I feel great. I would have walked away with a thousand and been just as happy. Don't tell Rick that. Can't believe that little kid got me. <laughs> <laughs>